without protection from the pharmaceutical laws, our vaccines are going to cause more harm. If we don't have any safety review, if we don't make any adjustment, if we don't do any risk gratification, if we don't do anything that we always do with drugs with safety problems, we're never going to be able to correct the problem. Right now, it's still full, full steam ahead. Our agencies are saying, listen, we gave you the warnings. We told you to look at the data. You make your choice. And then what you're saying is, wait, I'm not really having a choice here. I mean, I, I'm, I'm being told I have to do this to go to school or work. It's no longer a choice. And so that's where the tension is really starting to build. Now, I almost vomited when my wife showed this to me the other morning that this popped up on the feet. This is Santa Cruz. He's a smart guy. He's a little bit younger than me. He, he went to years in Michigan. I trained there. Listen, we all train for top places in the United States. How in the world is he going to be able to explain this to his kids and his grandkids later on? How do you come back from this? This is a product. These products says warnings causes myocarditis. It causes myocarditis. And he's on Sesame Street cajoling and seducing children through Sesame Street to take a vaccine. It's immoral, it's unethical, and from a civil perspective, it's illegal. Historians will write about this. Doctors, good doctors, are always conservative, they're always cautious, we're never reckless, we always care about safety first. Remember, premium no mostly. Above all, his mission is to do no harm to those children. He's harming because he's cajoling, he's pressuring. Remember, these research, these vaccines are all research. They are all research investigation. Well, these kids don't know what research is. They don't know it. Even the Sesame characters, they don't know what research is. Listen, this is research. There is a code of ethics that say in research, under no circumstances will there be any pressure, coercion, or threat of reprisal. I'm a researcher. I have research grants. If I told a patient, listen, you have to be in my research study. You better be in my research study. I'm not going to see you. Do you know I would be sanctioned? I would be called before a human ethics board. I'd be called before the FDA. No good doctor in this state can ever encourage the vaccine. Let me make that very clear. They are investigational. That doctor is breaking a code of ethics. That medical school is breaking a code of ethics. This is very important. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, by encouraging the vaccine, which is research, is breaking a code of ethics. And the American College of Pediatrics is breaking a code of ethics. It is research. The consent form says this is research or investigation in every single state in the United States. It says, listen, you're doing this voluntarily. That's what, the, that's what the consent form says. And it's fine. It's voluntarily. You are volunteering to do this. But anybody who provides any pressure on someone else to participate in research, and this is any employer, any school, any board of directors, any travel agency, is violating the code of ethics, is violating the fundamental code. That is a line that's not crossed. That's a line that doctors in Nazi Germany crossed. That's the reason why they're with the Nuremberg trials. Let historians remember, COVID-19 vaccines are thought actually not to be safe, generally, everywhere. 